Okay, developers, welcome back. In this video brought to you by Kronos, we're gonna be looking at how they plan to scale the DeFi and GameFi ecosystem all while onboarding the next billion Web3 users. If you're new here, I'm Calvin Torre, and on Eat The Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Kronos is the EVM compatible chain that is backed by Crypto.com and Crypto.org. It's the first Ethereum compatible blockchain network built on Cosmos SDK technology, which is a framework for building blockchain applications. It's an open source and permissionless layer one chain. The aim is to scale DeFi and GameFi ecosystems by providing developers the ability to instantly port apps from Ethereum and EVM compatible chains. They've noted that hundreds of millions of us DeFi fans have bought our first cryptos on centralized exchanges. And now Kronos wants to help us take the next step to full self-custody and Web3. They launched in November 2021 and they have already achieved quite a lot. They've already hit more than 50 million transactions. They have over 800,000 unique wallet addresses and reached more than 4 billion in total value locked before the market slump. They are currently ranked number seven across all chains according to DeFi Llama. There are currently around 26 validators securing the network including All Nodes Inc., Audit.one, Cosmos Station, Icy Road, and more. Kronos runs a proof of authority consensus which combines decentralization with streamlined, scalable, and environmentally friendly transaction processing. They also have funding from Kronos Labs 100 million EVM fund and access to the 50 plus million user base of the crypto.com ecosystem. Kronos Labs will grant up to $1 million per project to at least 100 projects committing to building applications on Kronos Chain. Now, because Kronos is open source, they're encouraging devs to provide suggestions to strengthen the network. Kronos can also process more transactions per minute than Ethereum, which makes it cheaper and greener. But they also have the Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol, or IBC which enables bridging to the crypto.org chain and other IBC enabled chains. So this means that we'll be able to take any crypto asset created on an Ethereum compatible chain or IBC compatible chain and use it to trade, lend, borrow and play on Kronos. In the far future, they expect developers to leverage rollups on top of Kronos as a way to process even more transactions at a lower cost while taking advantage of the Kronos chain security. For quarters two and three, they're looking to expand their connectivity and add more wallets, grow the number of dApps on the network and dive into gaming. For the end of this year, they're looking at protocol governance, interchain accounts and integrating EVM packets over IBC. So right now the Kronos chain creates a block every five to six seconds. And after a recent upgrade, each block has a total computation capacity of 20 million gas. They expect a 3x to 6x increase in block capacity with some clever programming to take executions from exponential to linear and speed up the reading of on-chain data. They're also expecting their fees to drop even lower once some optimizations have arrived from the Ethermint community. So they have multiple ways to send your assets across chains. One is using the Crypto.com app. It supports CRO, USDT, USDC, DAI, ETH and wrapped Bitcoin and dozens of other cryptocurrencies which are supported on Kronos. They also have the web app which can bridge from Cosmos, Akash and Terra. They also allow you to use the DeFi wallet for the browser and desktop. Reading more into the project, it looks like we're waiting on the Gravity Bridge to go live in this quarter of 2022. This will be the connection to and from the Ethereum mainnet for ERC20 assets. We'll be able to take full advantage of the low transaction fees Kronos has to offer and their ecosystem. So because Kronos is EVM compatible, we get to access the tools that we're already used to. That includes Truffle Suite, Hardhat, Open Zeppelin Contracts, Web3.js, Ethers.js, and more. We also get access to Chronoscan, and this was built by the team over at Etherscan, so everything feels extremely familiar. Now, there are already a number of projects fully established on the Chronos network, and a few are listed on their site. We can see that they have a whole list of NFT projects from Chronos Lizards to Nifty Nanas. Current oracles include Band Protocol, 
Witnet, and soon Chainlink. We have decentralized exchanges like Mad Meerkat Finance, SilverSwap, Empire Dex, and Elk Finance. For lending protocols, we can see Mimos Finance and Tectonic. Tectonic has been listed on Crypto.com and integrated into Crypto.com Earn. And we can also see some shade being thrown at Coinbase at the amount of sports partners they have in comparison to Crypto.com. All of the marketing done by Crypto.com to secure these partnerships ultimately benefits the Kronos ecosystem, bringing more users, more builders and more funding into the space. Now let's look at adding Kronos to our MetaMask wallet. First, we'd need to open the wallet, hit add network and grab the Kronos details. For mainnet beta, we'll need evm.kronos.org as the RPC, 25 for the chain ID and CRO for the symbol. We can use kronosscan.com as the block explorer. For testing purposes, we can use the following details. We have evm-t3.kronos.org, 338 for the chain ID and tcro for the symbol. And then we can use kronos.crypto.org forward slash explorer as the block explorer. Once we're connected, we can go and have a look at the faucet. They have an NFT faucet that allows you to create, buy and sell NFTs on their fake marketplace. This could be quite useful for testing purposes. After you've linked your wallet, you're able to create an NFT, give it a name and then give it a description. It then shows up in your collection tab. Once it's up for sale, you'll see it in the test marketplace. They also have a faucet for regular test CRO tokens, which gives you about 50 a day, which is more than enough for testing as the transaction fees are pretty low. On their website, the play section looks quite interesting. Kronos offers game integration with just a few lines of code. They offer multiple game engines like Unity and Unreal. This allows your games to benefit from the speed that they promise compared to Ethereum. And on their roadmap, they have Crypto.com Pay, which will accept crypto and credit cards for your game. Crypto.com OAuth, which gives millions of end users access to your game using Crypto.com OAuth login features. And in-game NFT support with Crypto.com NFT. Players can manage, trade and mint digital collectibles. There's the Unreal Engine plugin, which supports C++ and Blueprint and a direct connection to Kronos. Then the C++ development SDK, which gives you the ability to build tons of in-game features through the C++ development SDK. They already have some featured games to check out like dragonsb.finance and demol.io with marketplaces and NFT integration. Their grants program offers milestone incentives, meaning they pay out based on completion of certain agreed milestones. Grant recipients can expect help from core developers at Kronos when building out their projects. Something that is also really useful is the marketing support. So qualified projects will get help on social media to boost their Kronos project and future VC introductions can also be arranged for projects that meet the criteria, which means access to additional well-needed funding. They have quite a wide range of eligible areas for projects, including DeFi, NFT, gaming, tools, like oracles or things like social media. Kronos has just launched the Kronos Accelerator. It's a 10 week program to accelerate the growth of promising teams building on the Kronos chain. Your project needs to be at seed or pre-seed stage and a working MVP will definitely help your chances of getting accepted. They offer between 100K and 300K in funding from Kronos Labs and grants for things like security audits. You can also get one-on-one -on -one mentoring, masterclasses with industry veterans, marketing support and networking with VC funds. This program is funded by the $100 million Kronos Labs Ecosystem Fund, and there will be three to four cohorts per year with an average of 10 startups per cohort. Definitely check out their Accelerator page to see the timeline and the frequently asked questions. We can see on CoinMarketCap that Crypto.com coin has been rebranded as Kronos. The total supply of CRO is limited to 30 billion coins, following 70 billion CRO burned in 2021, all of which were created when the blockchain went live, making it a non-minable cryptocurrency. So 30% went to secondary distribution and launch incentives, released in batches on a daily basis over five years from November 2018. 20% in capital reserve, another 20% frozen for network long-term incentives, 20% goes towards ecosystem grants, and then 10% for community development. 
Now the team over at Kronos have published multiple tutorials to get up and running. Here we have one of their most recent dApps which shows how to connect multiple wallets. And because Kronos is EVM compatible, it supports EVM wallets like Metamask, Trust Wallet, and of course the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. In the code repo provided, in this tutorial we can browse through the connection methods to see how things are working under the hood. For the Crypto.com DeFi Wallet browser extension we can see how that is connected inside the DeFiWallet.ts helper file. For the injected Web3 provider of Metamask and Trust Wallet, we can see how those connect via the Metamask.ts helper. And then for the Wallet Connect, this connection is inside the WalletConnect.ts helper. They all rely on the same configuration parameters to find the Kronos mainnet network inside the config.ts file. They're also open to improvements on this demo, so if you want to jump into GitHub and leave a suggestion, you can. Now their community is already fully established with over 20,000 members on Discord and over 7,000 on Telegram. If you need to get a feel for what's going on, you'll have no problem finding people talking about it. The team over at Kronos have two more tutorials that are more in depth and take you through a simple dApp connected to Kronos and another one focused on NFT collections with TypeScript and IPFS, both of which will give you a deeper understanding of how to connect to this chain and start reaping the benefits. I'm really interested to see how this chain plays out in the GameFi space. Developers are creating some really impressive games with the likes of Unity and Unreal. Connect that with all the features that Kronos will be offering and we have some really interesting things to look forward to. We'll leave a link in the description below so you can learn more about the Kronos chain and see how you can start building your dApps on their ecosystem. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.